This is gonna be quick and underwhelming. That's what she said. <laughs> This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Thank you so much, Squarespace, for sponsoring today's video. Hello, shiny bays. Hello, besties. Welcome to a very irrelevant video, but for some reason, a video you guys want. So here I am to give it to you because I am nothing but reliable. <laughs> So as you can tell by the title of this video, I'm gonna be telling you how I rate my books because a lot of people seem to ask this question. And by a lot of people, I mean like, I saw two people ask it and I took that as my sign to make this video. <laughs> I apologize if this is extremely not informational at all because my rating system is not, it's not the best. Let me just be honest right now. A lot of people have better rating systems than me. So maybe you shouldn't go by mine, but <laughs> This is just how I do it. Don't yell at me. So let's begin at number one, obviously. So when I rate a book a one, that just means that either I hated it with every fiber of my being or I didn't even finish it. So if I read like 60% of the book and I called it a day, that would be a one star. Or if I read the whole thing just because I wanted to say I finished it and still rated it a one star, that means the book had no redeemable qualities whatsoever. That means I hated that book with everything inside me. Like I wouldn't recommend that book to anyone, anyone. Honestly, I'm a big fan of DNF lately. I used to never DNF because I would be like, oh, I have to finish this book. But life is too short to be reading books you don't like. So once I realized that, I was like, wait, if I'm not enjoying it, I can just not finish? That's possible? I started doing that. And those would be my one stars. <laughs> Now, two stars. That means that the book was bad. It was still bad, don't get me wrong. But there were some moments where I was fooled into believing that the book was fine, you know? So like, there were a couple moments that I was like, aw, that was cute. That was fun. Or like, maybe I liked the plot a little bit, or maybe I liked a certain character a little bit, even if it's a side character, something like that. That would be a two star. And I definitely finished it if it's a two star. It was bad, but it was better than me not finishing it. It's just that once I finish it, I sort of regretted it, you know? <laughs> Those are like the regrets. Now, I don't really know how many books I've rated 2.5, but I know there have been some. And if it's a 2.5, that just means that it was a little bit higher than a two. <laughs> so it was bad, but it was like bad with a side of good. You know what I mean? There was like a little feature in there of a good moment, of a moment that I was like, ooh, this book is fire. And then I turned the page and I was like, no, this book is actually a dumpster fire. I actually need to throw it away. That would be a 2.5. I'm also the kind of person that if I don't like a book, I forget everything about it. <laughs> I remember every detail of my favorite books. But if I don't like a book, I will probably not even be able to tell you the character's name. I most likely don't remember anything because I need to leave room in my brain for the books I like, you know? The logic is there. Don't argue. Then we have my three stars. Okay, my three stars are very hit or miss. Listen to this. A lot of people say three stars are like horrible. My three stars are not horrible, but they're also not amazing. They're very much in the middle, a balance, mid. Those are the books that I did finish, the whole thing, and I did enjoy myself, but I will never be thinking about it again. I will not be going back to this book. Once I put it back on my bookshelf, it is dead to me. I most likely forgot some of it. It just didn't do anything for me. It was just like, oh, it was entertaining for the time that I read it and now I will leave it be. Goodbye. I would say my threes are like trail mixes. They're my trail mixes, okay? Like meaning they have some good in there. They have some chocolate and they have different types of nuts that a lot of people like, but then they also have raisins. And I don't love raisins. I'm like, Ooh, I gotta pick out the raisins. And I'm also not a big fan of nuts. I gotta pick out the nuts. But boy, do I love the chocolate that's in there. That was very enjoyable. Those are my threes, my trail mixes. But then if I do like a 3.5, a little bit better, a little bit better. I wouldn't say it's a three, but I also wouldn't go out of my way to say it's a four. It's very almost there, but not quite. And then sometimes I have done a 3.75. That means it was so close to a four. It was so, so close, but it just didn't make it. It just didn't make the cut. And that's not my fault. That's the book's fault. <laughs> then you have the four stars. Those are good. I liked those books. Even if I didn't love those books, I liked them. They were definitely enjoyable. I had a good time reading them. There may be certain things that I didn't agree with or certain characters that I didn't like. Maybe the plot was a little all over the place. I didn't love the writing, but it was still a book that I enjoyed and I don't regret reading it whatsoever. I would even recommend it. I would recommend it to a lot of people. Maybe I would recommend it to like somebody that's just starting to read for the first time because it was like a fun book. Or maybe I would recommend it as like a, a beach read, like you're just at the beach and you need something that like is mindless and you don't have to pay too much attention to. That would be like the four stars. I still recommend those and it's books I really did enjoy. I, it's not top tier, but I liked them. I also do 4.25s. 
<laughs> that would mean it's better than a 4, but it's not quite at a 4.5. It is just good, almost great, but not there yet. You know, again, I would still recommend it, but it's not a book that I'm going to be thinking about forever. I'm not going to stamp it on my forehead. I'm not going to tattoo it on me. It's just one of those that I was like, oh, I liked that book. And if somebody asks me if I liked it, I'll say, yeah, I liked it. But I won't be talking about it forever. I won't make it my whole personality. I also have 4.5. 4.5, it was almost there. It really, really was. It was almost at a five. But there were some things about it that didn't cut it. I didn't like every aspect of the book. Not every page was laced with a very thin layer of crack. No, maybe every other page was laced with a little bit of crack, but not every page. You know, it was almost there. But certain things I didn't love. Maybe the ending. A lot of the times I read a book 4.5 if the ending was rushed. But I did love everything else else about it if it's a 4.5 you know I also have 4.75 that is ooh, you almost made it but you didn't but you didn't don't think you made it because you didn't but you were almost at a five there was one little thing about you that I didn't like you're not the most perfect book of all time but you were so close you really were you were so fucking close you just you just didn't make it you know what I mean me but in a book <laughs> And then I have my fives, my god tears, my infinity stars, my books of all books. Those are the ones that I don't even care if there were certain parts about it that I may have not liked. It was so good that I can't even fathom not giving it a five. I can't even, I can't even think of a world where I wouldn't give this book a five. For instance, Addict to Calloway, right? The entire series in itself for me is definitely a five star series. Were there some books in the series that were probably like a 4.75, 4.5, whatever? Sure, but the series is so fucking good to me that the whole thing is a five. Same with Magnolia Parks, for instance. Did those characters piss me off sometimes? 100%, 100%. There were moments that BJ Valentine and I, we were straight up gonna fight. But I didn't even care. I didn't even care. It was so good. I needed to rate it a five. Juniper Hill is another one that is just like so cozy and comforting. Did much happen in that book? No, no, not much. It's a single mom. She falls for a chef. That, that's pretty much it. And guess what? I don't care. I don't care. Plot? Where? I don't know. But I also don't care because it was so good. I needed to rate it a five. Five stars are my god tier books. If you would like for me to do a video of all my five star reads, I can do that for you. I am not as picky as a lot of people are. Like it might seem like I am with these ratings because there's so many levels to them, but I go by vibes. Like <laughs> if the vibes were there, if I was having a fantastic fucking time and I loved the characters and I adored like what the book gave me, there could be some mistakes in it that I was like, oh, that's annoying, but I will probably still give it a five star because I loved it that much. I am such a big character person that I very much overlook plots often. So yeah, I go by how much of a soft spot I have for the characters, how much the book made me happy while I was reading it, and how often I'll be talking about it and if I'm gonna make it my whole personality and vibes. You can't forget the vibes because that would be the most important part. Shawty Bays, before you leave, I have to talk to you about Squarespace. Squarespace is basically an online platform where you can create your own website or domain. It has gated members only content where you can connect with your audience and generate revenue. You can send email communications, you can manage your members, and you can leverage audience insights all in one place. With Squarespace, you can create your own community where you can show likes, shares, replies. You also have amazing extensions where you can promote products, streamline bookkeeping, and manage inventory. You can also connect it to your social media and display posts from your profiles. And if all of that sounds interesting to you, Shawty Bays, you can go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And once you're ready to launch, you can click the link in my description description, use my code for 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. That's it. With that being said, Shotty Bays, um, I hope that this helped you. I don't know why you guys asked me this because I am the worst person to ask with ratings. Um, again, I am not way too picky. I don't rate a lot of books five stars, but I also don't rate a lot of books like one star either. I'm more balanced. I have a lot of four stars. I have a decent amount of three stars. I keep a balance pretty much. I'm sorry if this video was uh, disappointing because I don't have a lot of wisdom to share, but that's sincerely how I rate books. If you have any other questions, I would be more than pleased to do a whole video if one person asks me a question because um, I love to waste your time and mine. I love you, Shadi Vegas. Have a great day.